Welcome to Move Everywhere by Arston's virtual fitness classes. My name is Lindsay and I'll be guiding you through your 45 minute vinyasa practice today. Uh, please feel free to decide whether you want to keep your camera on or off. It's up to you. If you do keep it on, that means I can give you some feedback uh, real time as we practice together. Uh, but choose whatever is comfortable for you. Take water breaks whenever you need and modify as your body needs today. With that, we'll get started seated here. So find a nice comfortable seat. You might need to move the fleshy part of your bum out of the way so your sit bones, the bony part of your bum, can relax down into the floor. And then stack your spine nice and long, shoulders on top of your hips, and let your hands just rest here on your thighs or your knees. Feel free to close your eyes or just bring them down to a gentle gaze on the floor in front of you. natural breath take a moment to check in with how your body is feeling today there's no right or wrong answers here it's just the act of noticing that's important We'll start a breathing practice that's called square breath. So I'll count you in. It will be four counts for your inhale, a four count pause where you hold your breath at the top, and then a four count exhale and four counts to hold at the bottom. Please give it a try, but if it doesn't work for you, feel free to let go of it and come back to your natural breath. So when you're ready, exhale all the air out completely, then inhale for four, Three, two, one, pause at the top for four, three, two, one, exhale four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom for four, three, two, one, inhale four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, again, inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, four, three, two, Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one. Keep going, counting for yourself. If this practice causes any anxiety or any discomfort, especially as you hold, with your lungs on empty, please feel free to let go of this practice and return to a natural, comfortable breath. Forward to all fours. 
So you're looking for your knees to be right underneath your hips, hands outer shoulder distance apart. So it might be a little wider than what you think. Nice long spine here. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, let your belly fall towards the floor, tailbone up to where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. And then exhale, belly button into your spine. Let the crown of your head be heavy to the floor. Take a few more rounds at your own breath, your own pace. And then exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left, bring the back of your shoulder and the right side of your face to the floor. Take an inhale at the bottom, and then exhale, press down through your left hand, and come back up through center, last time twisting towards the right. Option to bring your right hand to your lower back if that feels better for you. Take one more breath in here, and then exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left, opening up through the back of your right shoulder. Take one more breath in here at the bottom, and then exhale, press down, come back up through tabletop. Feel free to shift your hips side to side, or take any other little movements that would feel good before we repeat everything on the left. When you're ready, root down through your right hand, twist open towards your left. Last deep breath in here, and then exhale, thread left arm underneath your right. And it's okay here if things feel a little tighter on one side compared to the other. It's quite normal for us to feel uneven. Take one more breath in here at the bottom. And then exhale, press down through your right hand, twist open to the left one last time. Option again if you'd like to place your left hand on your lower back. Last deep breath in. And then exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right last time here. Take an inhale at the bottom. And exhale, press down. Slowly come all the way up. Take any little movements that might feel good for you here to undo that work. And then we'll meet together in our tabletop again. When you're ready, curl your toes under. Press down through your hands and all 10 toes. Hover your knees off the floor just one inch. So you're just lifting that tabletop a little higher off the ground. Feel your belly button pull into your spine. Your core is engaging here. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, send your hips up and back to your first downward dog. Your feet should be hip distance apart. You can keep your knees as bent as you need to. Send your tailbone high up to where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. And then press your chest between your arms. Stay here in stillness or option to pedal out through your feet or shift your hips side to side, whatever movements would feel good for you here. Take one more deep breath in and then exhale, bend your knees, look forward between your hands, take lots of little steps to the top of your mat and hang heavy over your legs here. One more deep breath in. And then exhale, press down slowly. Come all the way up to standing. Last thing to come up is your head. When you get there, you can roll your shoulders up, back, and down. 
and then step yourself right to the top of your mat if you're not there already. We'll take a really slow flow to go through all the key poses, and then we can ramp it up from there if you like. So feet hip distance in your Tadasana pose, soft bend in your knees, arms down beside you. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Let yourself hang heavy. Inhale, slide your palms up your shins, halfway lift. Nice long spine, just like you had in your tabletop. And then exhale, fold again. This time, bend your knees enough that you can plant your hands and step back to your high plank. Shoulders are right on top of your wrists here. And your hips should be roughly in line with your shoulders. So feel your belly button pull into your spine to engage your core and protect your lower back. From here, press forward through your toes, shoulders come forward past your wrists, and then lower your knees down. Hug your elbows in so they track beside your waist, and we're just gonna lower all the way down to the floor, nice and slow and controlled, leading with your chest. Last thing to come down is your hips. Woo, that's hard. <laughs> Once you get there, make sure the tops of your feet are heavy into the floor. Hands are right underneath your shoulders still. As you inhale, pull forward and up through your chest, so your chest and forehead lift off the floor. Back of your neck is still long, so your nose still points down to the ground. Take one more breath in, and then exhale, lower down, press down through your hands, come up through all fours, and then from here, curl your toes under, send your hips up and back to your downward dog again. So pedal out through your feet here, take whatever movement feels good. We'll be doing several more flows throughout the practice, and I'll give you options of how to intensify, but please feel free to stay with this variation if that works for you. Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, bend your knees, look forward between your hands, come all the way to the top of your mat, and hang out in your forward fold for a breath. Take one more deep breath in, and exhale, press down, slowly come all the way up. Next round here, we'll start with our chair pose, and today we'll do a variation where your feet are actually together. If it feels stronger for you to have your feet apart, feel free to do that. When you're ready, bring your hands together in front of your chest. Exhale, sink back and down as if into a chair behind you. Take a look down. Can you see all 10 toes beyond your knees? If not, you need to send the weight further back into your heels. Take a few breaths here. Last deep breath in. And then exhale, fold over your legs. Let your head, arms, and torso be heavy. Inhale, palms to your shins, halfway lift. And exhale, fold again, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back to your plank. Pause here. And then press forward through your toes, shoulders come forward past your wrist, lower your knees down, hug your elbows in. This time, option to lower just halfway down towards the floor. And then pull your chest through, come onto the tops of your feet for your upward dog. Slide your shoulders down your back here. Your knees might even be hovering as you let your hips be heavy. Last breath in. And then exhale, roll over the tops of your feet. Come back to your downward dog. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, bend your knees, look forward between your hands. Come all the way to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in in your forward fold. And then exhale, press down, come up. We'll repeat the same time, adding a little twist to our chair. So step your feet together again if that variation worked for you. When you're ready, inhale to stand tall. Exhale to sink your hips low. Pause here, and then using just the strength of your back, twist towards your right. Once you've gone as far as you can, option to either place your left hand on your right thigh, 
or hook your elbow onto the outer part of your right thigh. This will intensify the twist for you. Take a look down at your toes and your knees. If your left knee is pulling forward past your right one, that's showing that your hips are out of line. So pull your left hip back to keep a nice strong alignment for your pelvis. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, twist back to center and then fold over your legs. Inhale, slide your palms up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees, step back to your plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press forward through your toes. Lower your knees down, hug your elbows in. Lower halfway down and then pull yourself through to your upper dog. As deep as you'd like your back bend to be today. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, hips up and back to downward dog. Take a deep breath in here. Then exhale, bend your knees, a core between your hands. Come all the way to the top. Last deep inhale here. And then exhale, press down, come all the way up. Last time through with our chair series. Bring your feet together one last time. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale to sink down to your chair. Weight is in your heels. As you exhale, twist to your left using just the strength of your back. Once you've gone as far as you can, add in some leverage, either with your right hand or your right elbow. Check for your alignment here. Look down to see if your knees are still in line side to side. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, twist back to center, and then fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again, and step back to your plank. Pause here. Feel your core firm up as you inhale. And then exhale, press forward through your toes. Lower your knees down or not. You can come from a high plank if you like. And then slowly lower yourself halfway to come through to your upward dog. Deep breath in here. And then exhale, hips up and back. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward, come all the way to the top of your mat. In this forward fold, option to reach for opposite elbows, or just gently sway with your fingertips on your mat, getting a little release for one side of your lower back and then the other. Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, return to center, press down slowly, come all the way up. Okay, our next flow series will be coming to three-legged dog. So you can keep your feet here in your Tadasana. When you're ready, deep breath in, reach up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold again. Bend your knees, step back to your plank. Press forward through your toes, shoulders come past your wrists. Lower your knees or not and then slowly lower halfway down and pull your chest through to upward dog. Nice heavy hips. Deep breath in. And then exhale, send your hips up and back to downward dog. From here, start to root down through your left foot and hover your right foot off the floor. Keep your hips in line side to side to start with. Take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, right knee to chest as you shift yourself forward to your high plank. Inhale back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, shift yourself forward. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale forward. Last one here. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Pause here. And then step your right foot between your hands. Bend both knees. Step yourself forward to your forward fold. 
inhale at the bottom. Exhale, press down, come all the way up. Same thing, second side. When you're ready, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again, plant your hands, step back. Pause here. Feel the strength of your core. Press forward through your toes, shoulders come past your wrists. Lower your knees and slowly lower yourself halfway down. Inhale here in your upward dog. And exhale, hips up and back. Take a moment to adjust in your downward dog if you need and get heavy through your right foot. Start to float your left foot off the floor, keeping your hips in line side to side. So if you feel your left hip opening, you've lifted your leg too high. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee to your chest as you shift your weight forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, come forward, shoulders on top of your wrists in your plank. Inhale, back to three legs. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, three legged. Last one here. Exhale, knee to chest. Pause. And then step your left foot through. Bend both knees. Spring yourself forward to your forward fold. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, press down. Come all the way up to standing. Okay, similar flow here, but we'll go to west core work. When you're ready, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold again. Step back to your flank. Pause here. I always like to pause in our plank for a little bonus core work and then press forward through your toes, shoulders come past your wrists. Lower your knees, hug your elbows right in beside you. Halfway down to the ground, and then inhale to your upward dog. Exhale your hips up and back to downward dog. Planting again through your left foot. Hover your right foot off the floor. This time intentionally open up through that hip. So you're sending your left heel down towards the ground. Right foot, you're sending up and back behind you. So if you look under your left armpit, you can see your right foot there. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, return to your three-legged dog, square off your hips. Bring your right foot all the way down, bend your knees, look forward between your hands, and come back to the top of your mat. Hang heavy over your legs, last deep breath in. Exhale, press down, come all the way up. Same thing, second side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold again. Bend your knees, step back to your plank. Deep breath in here in your plank. And then exhale, send your weight forward. Lower your knees down, hug your elbows in. Come down through Chaturanga and up through your upper dog. Pause your deep breath in. Exhale, send your hips up and back. Root down through your right foot. Hover your left foot off the floor. Squaring off your hips still. And then when you're ready, open up through your left hip. Plant your right heel down towards the ground. Take a little look under your right armpit. See if you can see your left toes. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back to your three-legged dog. Square off your hips. And then return your left toes down to the floor. Bend your knees the core between your hands. Come all the way to the top of your mat. Hang heavy here over your legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down. Come all the way up. We'll do the same thing here, option, from once you're in that hip opener, we'll come to a wild thing or a rock star pose, whichever way you call it, it's a great name. So I'll walk you through that, but feel free to stay in the variation we just did. 
From here, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. And exhale, fold again. Step back to your plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to press forward. Shift your weight forward. Lower your knees down. Hug your elbows in. Come through Chaturanga. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale, hips up and back to your downward dog. From here, when you're ready, root down through your left foot again. Cover your right foot off the floor. Intentionally open up through your right hip. Left heel comes down towards the ground. Stay here, or option to send your right foot back behind you, finding your wild thing. So press down through your right heel a lot. Stack your shoulder, your left shoulder on top of your wrist. On your exhale, press down through your three points of contact with the ground to lift your hips higher. If you need a break, feel free to lower your hips down. Pause here, gathering some energy. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press back up. This is a lot of work for the shoulder here, so please feel free to take breaks at any time. Let's take one more little break here. Inhale to gather some energy. Exhale, press down, lift up. Last deep breath in, see if you can shift your hips a little higher. From here, start to look down towards the ground again as you replace your right hand, right foot. Take a moment to adjust, send your right foot back up to the sky. And then lower your right toes down, back to downward dog. As you breathe here, take any little movements that would feel good. Bending through your knees or shifting your hips. And then when you're ready, look forward between your hands. Bend your knees, come all the way to the top of your mat. Take a moment to pause in your forward fold. Deep breath in. And then exhale, press down, come all the way up. Last time through this flow, second side. So when you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. And then exhale, fold again. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step back. Find a moment of strength in your high plank. Then press forward through your toes, shoulders come past your wrists. Lower your knees, hug your elbows in. Lower halfway through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Take a moment to ground down through your right foot. Start to hover your left foot off the floor. Pause here. Bend your left knee, open up through your left hip, send your right heel towards the floor. Stay here if you like. Or if you'd like to try wild thing, slowly send your left foot directly behind you. Stack your right shoulder on top of your right wrist. Make any adjustments you need. And then send your hips a little higher. So really using the strength of your left leg here, left heel presses down into the floor to send your hips up. Inhale, lower down, take a little break. Exhale, press down, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press down, lift up. Last time here, inhale, little break. Exhale, press down to lift up. See if you can send your hips a little higher this time, squeezing through those left glutes. And then when you're ready, look down towards the floor again. Send your weight back to the middle of your mat. Find your downward dog. Take a few breaths here. Catching your breath if you need to. And then when you're ready, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward between your hands. Come all the way to the top of your mat. Feel free to hang out a little bit longer here in this forward fold. Perhaps give your wrists 
a little bit of a circle in one direction and then the other. Take one more deep breath in and then exhale, press down. Slowly stack one vertebrae on top of the previous one. So you come all the way up with a nice long spine. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. We'll make our way down towards the mats now. So step your feet as wide as your mat. Or if you don't have a mat, feel free to just take your hips, or your feet wider than your hips. Turn out from your hips about 45 degrees. Take an inhale, stand up tall, shoulders on top of your hips. Exhale, sink down into your Malasana squat. Option if you'd like, you can use a block underneath your bum. So use the strength of your arms here, either your elbows on the insides of your thighs, or you can extend your arms fully to help press your knees back so your knees are ideally in line with your second and third toes. Lift up through your chest. We'll just be here for a moment, getting a little bit more of a hip opener. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, plant your hands down, send your hips up, so you can just step back to all fours. Take any little movements you'd like here, maybe cat cows, or just shifting your hips side to side. Whatever would feel good for a moment or two. And then when you're ready, you can just sit back on your heels. We'll set up for a wide legged child's pose here. So take your knees as wide as your mat or just wider than your hips. And then walk your hands forward. Hands can be as wide as your mat as well. And you can bend through your elbows so your forearms can just relax onto your mat. Take a few deep breaths into your back ribs here. Stay here in center if you like, or option to walk both hands over to the right side of your mat, still rooting down through your left bum cheek, left sit bone. That should still be working towards your left heel. We're getting a stretch through the left side of your waist here. starts to pull away from your heel you might have reached too far to the left you can always back off a little bit stay grounding down through your right bum cheek towards your right heel forward. We still want kneecaps and toes up towards the ceiling. So just take a moment. You might need to sort of shuffle around here. Again, feel free to move the fleshy part of your bum out of the way so that your sit bones can root down into the floor. Feel free as well to keep a little bit of a bend through your knees. If you have really tight hamstrings or a sensitive lower back, you might want a little bit of space here underneath your knees. So take a moment. Set up here 
in your wide-legged position. And then we'll make this move a little bit. I'm going to mirror you. When you're ready, we're going up and over to your right. So reach your left arm up. Keep both shoulders, both hips equally facing forward as you get a stretch through the left side of your waist. towards your right leg. Notice how that changes the stretch. From here, walk your hands through center, over to your left side, torso on your thigh, and then open up again, square your shoulders and hips forward. Deep breath in here. Exhale, come back up to center. We'll repeat going up and over to the other side this time. So left side to start. And then intentionally turn down towards your leg. Walk yourself through center. Over to your right, torso on your thigh. And then open up your torso to face forward. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, pulls you all the way up to seated. From here, you'll want to place your hands behind you, slowly draw your legs together, bend your knees. You can take your feet about as wide as your mat in theory, just wider than your hips, and take a few windshield wipers here side to side. So both knees to one side and then the other. Let your glutes be really heavy here, so not holding any tension through your bum muscles. That way you get a little bit of a massage for them as well. And then when you're ready, come back up to center. We'll just spin around here so you're on the length of your mat again. And we're going to head all the way down to our backs. So plant your feet out in front of you. Extend your arms forward, lift up through your chest and try to keep that lift the whole time. Root your feet down and slowly hinge back. Never losing that lift of your chest. Your lower core might be having a little bit of an earthquake moment here. Breathe through it for three two, and come all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest or out towards your armpits if that feels better. Take a little rock and roll side to side. A little massage through the width of your lower back. And then from here, bend your knees up the soles of your feet come down to the floor. And then we'll lift your right leg up here so your right outer ankle comes to the lower part of your left thigh. Keep a good flex through your right foot here and maybe gently press your right knee away. That could be enough for you here in your figure four position. If you'd like a little bit more, reach your hands between your legs to catch the back of your left leg and use the strength of your right arm to press your right knee away. One more 
you prep in. And then exhale, lower your left foot back down. Keep your right leg where it is, and we'll just bend um, your left knee over to the side here. So use this, uh, the weight of your right leg on top of your left to add to the little twist sensation here. You can take your arms out beside you. If this arrangement for your legs doesn't feel good, feel free to try another variation, perhaps stacking your joints on top of each other here. windshield wipers, both knees to one side, then the other. When you're ready, both soles of your feet back down to the floor here, leave your right foot where it is, bend your left knee in, find your figure four on the second side, keep a good flex through your left foot. This might be enough for you here with just the extra pressure of your left hand against your left thigh, or you can hug your knees in towards your chest. to be natural here. 
No need to manipulate it or to change it. Let it be how it is. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today. Namaste.